What's happened to Belle? What's that all over her? Hey guys, what's up? LT Shire Lady here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. As you can see, our beautiful Princess Belle is heavily pregnant now. She is about to give birth to her first child and when she does, Dash Basu can have his makeover, which I'm very excited about. So, <gasps> I just noticed how beautiful it is out here. Wow. Oh, look at this beautiful dock. Let's just go sit out here. Come on, all the way out. Let's move it, people. I don't care how pregnant you are. Oh my gosh, look at the way she walks. Okay, Dash, do you mind? Bit rude, running off when Belle can barely walk. Okay, here we go. Isn't this nice? Now let's do a little smoochy smooch. Oh, it's so romantic out here. Look at that pervy little butterfly just watching them. Get out of here, you freak. Oh my goodness, this butterfly is all up in their business. I feel uncomfortable, let's go back inside. So when the baby is born unto the world, she will become the next princess in the challenge. And in order for her to become the next princess, we have to make sure that she is a lady. So there are actually a couple of ways to increase the chances of the baby being a female. One of them is to eat strawberries and the other is to listen to pop music. So, so let's find a radio or something around here and listen to some pop music. This is really important. So, how long do I have to listen to this for? Maybe we can do a dance with Dash. Dance for me, boy! Come on, I know you can dance better than that. There we go! That's the Dash Basu I know. Okay, I think we've listened to enough pop music now. I'm literally going to pee myself, so... Let's head to the little bathroom over here that we... vomited in last time. Gosh, she's looking quite pregnant now. I think she's about ready to pop out the baby any second now. Okay, now let's see if Dash is any good at cooking. He has a beautiful kitchen, but can he use it? Let's see what he can cook. Oh no, he's only cooking level two. He can barely make anything. Also, he's a vegetarian, so we need to remember that. So we'll make this faux BLT. I hope he doesn't set fire to the place and die. That would be really annoying. I mean, heartbreaking and devastating, <laughs> but also kind of annoying. Okay, while he is doing that, I think we need to go and find some strawberries. So where the heck can we find some strawberries? Are there any in the grounds of this beautiful home? Oh, over here. What's that? A strawberry bush! Oh, but there are no strawberries yet. So all we have to do is wait for this to grow some strawberries, then snack on them, and we'll pop out a baby girl. Oh, looks like dinner's ready. Where, where is it? Okay, it looks like Dash only made food for one, so thanks for that. I think we'll have Belle do the cooking from now on. Now, what can we do to pass the time until the baby is born? I think we should learn one of the many pianos in this house. So let's have a little practice on this beautiful grand piano. Oh. It's gonna be a long three days until this baby is born. Let's keep an eye on this strawberry bush. Oh, hang on. There's a little strawberry on it. It's time to harvest, quick, go woman, go. Before this man does it. Oh my gosh, it's a mailman, but it's a different mailman. Of course, we're not in Windenburg anymore. Rocco Nobles does not deliver the mail here. Otto Vargas does. Okay, we have just enough time to eat these strawberries before we need a nap. Now, I'm gonna eat all of these strawberries and hopefully they will work their magic. Okay, I think that's probably enough strawberries for now. Let's go back into the house and get Belle into bed. Oh my goodness, she is huge! She grew! That baby just doubled in size! Oh dear, okay, well we need some food. So let's serve some tofu tacos. Okay, apparently being pregnant has made Belle crazy. Why is she cooking in the bathroom? That is so unhygienic, I don't even know where to start. Oh well, I'm so hungry, I have no choice, I have to eat this. Nothing like tofu tacos to satisfy my pregnancy cravings. Oh my goodness, she's gonna pee herself. Come on, hurry up, woman, eat. We need to make an emergency trip to this bathroom. Luckily, there are several bathrooms to choose from in this house. Unfortunately, it's still a five minute walk to each one. This place is so freaking huge. Oh my gosh, she's gonna pee herself. <gasps> no, Dash, look away. Oh no. Oh, I feel so bad for her. She's pregnant, you can't blame her. Quick, let's get her in a bubble bath. Look how dirty she is. Also, her boobs definitely got bigger. That's not just me imagining it, right? Okay, she's in the bath safely. Hopefully, Dash does not feel too uncomfortable. Filthy surroundings. Oh dear. 
Oh my gosh. <gasps> What's happened to Belle? What's that all over her? Ew! What the heck is that? Has she got something wrong with her? How do we fix this? This is very concerning. What is it, Dr. Dash? Will she live? Maybe we should try and order some medicine. I know that we could do it on a computer. Order. Oh my gosh. What is all this stuff? Medicine? There we go. Let's get loads of it just in case. And now drink the medicine, Belle. You need it. Hopefully this will make her skin thing go away. <gasps> Magical. Oh, she looks better. But she's still embarrassed about the whole peeing herself thing. Hang on, where's she going? Belle? Belle, no, you can't go upstairs! Belle, you're not supposed to be up here! What is she doing? Hang on. What? She's popping the baby out up here! The baby is coming! Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's a girl! Which means our next princess has been born and her name is Rapunzel. Welcome to the world! There she goes. Oh my goodness. Are all babies bald? That one looks really weird. Okay, now you have fun on your own because mommy needs a shower and some food and a nap. Dash will look after you. Hang on, he's about to have a pre-parental panic. I mean, you're already a parent now, mate. This isn't the time. What's the point in panicking now? The baby's already been born. Yes, go on now. Be a normal father. Now, we'll have Belle have a bath because she is stanky at the moment, apparently. Pushing a baby out is not the cleanest of activities. Then we'll also fix her up some nice food and then we'll put her to bed while Dash takes care of the baby. Oh, look at her. Oh, he's not very good with children, is he? Hang on a second. <gasps> he can have his makeover now. I almost totally forgot. Let's find a mirror. Come on, get your butt over here. It's time, finally. Now let's fix that moustache. Oh, I am living for those lips though. Wow, where did you even find those? That's not even lipstick. Those are just his natural lips. This is his skin color underneath that makeup. So let's take off the face paint, wherever that is. Oh, so that's what Dash Basu looks like. Could we get rid of the moustache though? It's kind of freaking me out. Oh, he's actually pretty good looking. Huh, who would have thought? Now let's fix those clothes. Okay, he's a dad now, so we have to dress him like one. How about that? We should probably give him dad hair as well. That is definitely not dad hair. <gasps> How about that? Oh, this is a nice outfit. I almost don't even recognize him anymore. Now let's also change his formal wear. <gasps> Dash! Put some clothes on, man. Nobody wants to see all those muscles. Okay, that is his fatherly formal wear. Now for his athletic wear, I think that will do. Sleep wear, he of course has his bunny slippers. Is there maybe a cuter outfit? Oh my gosh, we could put him in a onesie. Isn't that adorable? Yes, the answer is yes. Now let's move on to party wear. <gasps> How about this one? That's very fatherly. Dash man, blue is your color. Look at that. Looking good, Dash. And now swimwear. <sighs> That's not a good look. How about these tight little speedos instead? In blue. Yep, that's great. Well, there we have it, people. Dash Basu 2.0, the Prince Charming in disguise. Okay, now he is actually a completely different guy. Let's go see if Belle even recognizes him. Oh, Princess Belle, I have a surprise for you. It's just like a game show where her prize is hidden behind a curtain, except she has no idea her prize is even stood there. And this is actually kind of creepy. Okay, here it is. Yeah, she didn't seem to care, really. I think maybe that pregnancy made her a little bit crazy. Dash, don't be disheartened. I'm sure she will notice tomorrow. So you just go look after the baby for now. Oh no, the baby's crying. Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's fallen asleep. Babies are so confusing. Look at this cute room though. <gasps> it's even cuter than the other one. Well, I guess since we had the baby now, we're allowed to explore. So we've already seen the baby room, obviously. <gasps> this is like a young girl's room. This is just princess perfect, isn't it? Now, what do we have here? The yellow room with a fountain in the middle of it. <laughs> Imagine sleeping in that bed with a fountain right there. How can it get any better than this? We have one of those woodworking benches and an artist's easel. <gasps> Hang on. What is this? 
Is this a pool? I think there's a pool on the next floor. Okay, let's stick on this floor first. Okay, what the heck is this? Is this a museum? They have a museum in their house. What on earth? Okay, that room is a bit unusual. Let's move on. Got another bathroom, surprise, surprise. We've got a room with three treadmills and various other exercise machines. I don't think we'll be using that one very much. Oh no, the baby's stinky now. Here you go. Dash, do your thing. Oh my gosh, the baby looked horrified when he came towards it with a diaper. Okay, they seem to be okay for now, so let's explore the next floor up. Oh, I was correct, there is a swimming pool up here. Oh my gosh, this floor is so cool. What is this? There's a secret lab in this house? What is all this stuff? X-ray scan? Oh my goodness, I'm actually kind of terrified of Dash now. What else is here? There's a sauna, oh my goodness. And a load of dining room tables. What? Is this a restaurant? There's a kitchen back here and everything. Okay, this house just gets more and more confusing. What's this here? Oh, it looks like a recording studio. This is awesome. And then there's just a bunch of cakes in the middle of the room on display. Okay, this house is just insane. And look at this TV. Wow, our very own mini cinema. Is that all that we have on this floor? Oh, what's this in the corner? Oh my gosh, the craziest looking office ever. Oh, what's this? Is this a treasure room? Are you serious? There's treasure hidden in my house. Okay, I'm actually getting really scared now. What is this place? And there's another floor. What is, it's a secret garden on the top floor. This house is just full of surprises. Beautiful, unusual surprises. Oh, and what's this? A rooftop restaurant. Of course, what else would you have up here? Okay, that is so bizarre. Okay, that seems to be it. I just noticed there are actually trees on top of this house and everything. This is absolutely insane. Let's check on how everyone's doing now that we've explored. Okay, he is in the secret lab. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing here? What is it you do? Do you even know how to use any of these contraptions? I don't think so. But that's probably for the best. Okay, that is enough playing around up here with all these stupid rooms. Okay, it looks like Belle has woken up from her nap now, so let's go see the baby. Okay, is it just me or is this baby actually kind of freaky? Ugh. Okay, I have to see what she looks like as a toddler. Let's age her up. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, okay, we can give her a trait. So, Rapunzel. Oh, she was a little angelic baby, wasn't she? <gasps> she has the wrong color hair. No, this is a disaster. Quick, fix it. Don't look, nobody look. Okay, let's fix that. Give her some beautiful golden blonde hair. Oh, that's an unusual hairdo. And so is that one. That one's really unusual. <gasps> this one's cute. Oh, <laughs> these are all so broken. Ooh, that one's really cute. Let's make sure we have it in gold and yellow. <gasps> that one's very Rapunzel. Okay, now while we're here, I think I'll give her a clothing makeover as well. Make sure she looks super cute. So let's see if we can find her a pink dress. Oh my gosh, that one is perfect for Rapunzel. How adorable. Let's put her in some little slippers. Those are cute. Oh. She's so pretty. And for her formal wear, she will definitely not be wearing that. That's not very princess-like. Let's see if we can find something cute. Oh my gosh, demon child. That's not a cute look. Let's keep her in this. Let's give her a, a tiara to make her formal wear extra special. And then move on to her sleepwear. I'm gonna put her in this onesie. How adorable. Oh, are these dungarees? Oh, they're so cute too. Okay, she's going in the dungarees. Maybe we should get rid of those sunglasses though, because that is ridiculous. Why would you wear sunglasses to bed? Even though you're so cute. You're so silly. And now finally, let's do her party wear. Oh my gosh, what is that on her head? What is that? Oh, it's a bow. It looks deformed. Yeah. Let's take that off. So for her party wear, I'm gonna put her in one of these little animal onesies. Oh, this cat is so cute. We just need to fix the hair, which is kind of a disaster right now. Okay, there we go. How cute is that for a party outfit? Oh, she's so adorable. So that's our little princess Rapunzel, all ready to start her life. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? But you know what else is beautiful? Dash, hello, Belle. Have you noticed he's had a makeover? Come on now, romance him a little bit. What a beautiful, happy family. So that is where I'm gonna end it for this episode of The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time for the beginning of Rapunzel's story.